It's another quiet day at Coastal Recycling. As you can see, not many people coming in. Joyce Levesque has worked at the facility for nearly 20 years, but this year, those in charge of the operation have written to the five down east towns it serves about shutting down. Now Levesque could find herself heading into retirement. It's been coming for a while. We just, you know, we keep trying to hang on, but it just keeps getting tighter and tighter and tighter. The recycling facility has seen a decrease in recyclables brought in, and when it sells cardboard and cans to be repurposed, it makes much less money than it did just one year ago. About a year and a half ago, cardboard was running somewhere around $170 to $180 a ton. Right now, it's around $50 a ton. We anticipate on our 2018-2019 budget, we could be short as much as $40,000 for this operation. In order to keep coastal recycling open, the towns of Hancock, Franklin, Sorrento, Sullivan, and Winter Harbor would have to offset those losses. Coastal recycling served us very well for many, many years. The circumstances are now that as their markets dry up, it has been a challenge for them and a challenge for us in the towns. Towns like Sullivan are now leaning towards letting coastal recycling shut down and adopting new recycling programs like Fiberite. When we start sending it to fiber right, they're going to be pulling out up to 70% out of our municipal waste stream and recycling those products. Towns will need to vote by the end of March on whether to close coastal recycling. In Hancock, Sean Stackhouse, News Center, Maine.